Hi, in this topic, we are going to discuss and review about the mean, median, and mode. Mean refers to or is also known as average and it is solved by adding all the numbers and dividing it by the number of data that you have. Median is the number located in the center of the data set. And mode, this refers to the most frequent number in the data set. Mean, also known as the average, is solved by adding all the numbers and dividing it by the number of data. So again, another term for mean is the average. And we do this by adding all the numbers and then dividing it kung ilan yung numbers na available or ilan yung data. Example, find the mean of the following scores in grade 10 pretest. The scores are 28, 17, 22, 24, 25, 30, 17, 17, 24. Now, how do we get the mean? Okay, so you add all the numbers and then divided it by 9. So, how did you get 9? So, if you count from 28 up to 24, there are 9 numbers. So, you add yung nasa numerator and then divide by 9. So, the average or the mean is 22.67. Find the mean of the following scores in grade 10 quiz. So the scores are 7, 5, 4, 10, 5, 10, 8, 9, 6, and 9. So to get the mean, you add all the numbers and then divide that by 10. Because there are 10 scores in the problem. So the mean is equal to 73 divided by 10 or 7.3. So your average is 7.3. Example, find the mean of the following grades in math of 8 students. So remember, um, kadalasan natin ginagawa to sa ating mga um, grades, lalo na yung mga pagbigay ng cards. So we solve for the, the mean or the average. So yung grades sa math ay 77, 75, 85, 84, 88, 77, 77, 84. So we solve the mean by adding all the numbers and dividing that by 8 kasi merong 8 students. So, the average of the each student is equal to 80.88. Okay, let's go to median. Median is the number located in the center of the data set. So, ito daw yung nasa gitna. How do we solve for the median or how do we find the median? Example number one, find the median of the following scores in the grade 10 pretest. So, pag tinignan nyo yung mga numbers na yan, okay, um, hindi siya naka-arrange. So, it would be better if you arrange the numbers from the lowest score to the highest score, tapos hanapin nyo yung pinaka-center niya. So, kapag may pinaka-gitna lang siya, nag-iisa lang yung nasa gitna. Okay, it's easier to tell which the median is. So, the median in this set of um, scores is 24. Example, find the median of the following scores in the grade 10 quiz. Now, in this example, or in this uh, given problem, yung scores ay hindi pa naka-arrange. So, let's arrange them in ascending order. And then, hanapin yung nasa center. So, since 10 yan yung mga scores, okay, may dalawang numbers na nasa gitna. So, what we do, we just add them, 7 plus 8, and then divide by 2. So, 15 divided by 2 is 7.8. Point five. So, the median is 7.5. Example number 3. Find the median of the following grades in math of 8 students. So, itong scores natin, again, ay hindi arranged in ascending order. So, ayusin nyo muna from lowest to highest. And then, hanapin yung gitna. So, since this, the, there are 8 students, may dalawang number style sa gitna. So, you add 77 and 84, tapos i-divide by 2. Okay, so, your median is 80.5. Now, what does a median do in a set of grades na binigay dito? So, hinahati niya yung distribution sa 
or yung yung mga students into two groups. So meron sa mababa at saka meron sa up yung mga scores na mas mataas. This time let's discuss mode. Okay, mode is the most frequent number in the data set. So when you say frequent, ito yung number na mas maraming beses na nag-appear sa isang data set or sa isang sets of data. Example, find the mode of the following scores in the grade 10 pretest. So, titigan nyo lang yung number na nag-appear ng mas maraming beses. Mode is 17. So, ito ay isang klase ng mode na unimodal kasi iisa lang yung mode niya. Yung 17 lang yung nag-appear ng mas maraming beses. So, the mode here is 17. Example number 2 natin, find the mode of the following scores in grade 10 quiz. Okay, so, it would be better kung naka-arrange yung numbers from highest to lowest para alam nyo agad kung um, may repetitions or ilang beses na ulit. Okay, so what's our mode here? Ang mode natin ay tatlo. So, 5, dalawang beses nag-appear yung 5, yung 9 din twice nag-appear at yung 10 twice din nag-appear. So, yung mode natin dito, there are 3 modes. So, minsan tinatawag din natin yung trimodal. Example number 3. Find the mode of the following grades in math of 8 students. So, pag in-arrange natin, okay, kitang-kita agad, 77 is our mode. So, yan ay unimodal. Um, by the way, or in addition lang, if there are two modes in a given set of data, tawag din yung bimodal. I hope you learned something today. Practice. Try solving the examples all by yourself para at least mas matuto. Thanks for watching!